Angolan President João Manuel Gonçalves Lourenço was welcomed by his American counterpart, President Joe Biden, to the Oval Office on Thursday. This invitation comes at a time when President Biden aims to reaffirm his dedication to Africa, despite the two ongoing wars dominating his administration's foreign policy focus. Together, we'll be mobilizing more than a million dollars, one billion dollars, for railway lines that extend from Angola to Zambia to the DRC and ultimately to the Indian Ocean. This is the first of its kind project. It's the biggest U.S. rail investment in Africa ever. The White House encounter follows Angola's strategic positioning as a key ally to the United States. President Lorenzo commended Biden's approach to the continent and expressed his country's interest in fostering stronger economic and security connections. Thank you very much, President Joe Biden, for the invitation you extended to me to conduct this official working visit to the United States of America in order for us to strengthen our bonds of friendship and economic cooperation between our two countries, Angola and the United States of America. Lobbyists pushed for months to arrange a meeting between President Lorenzo and Biden. Despite Biden's probable deviation from his promise to visit Africa this year, senior U.S. officials have made important trips to the continent.